Frederick, you just joined Oxico. Can you tell investors out there why you joined as the new CEO? I am absolutely delighted to join Oxico. And what I want to draw people's attention to is I don't think the world fully appreciates that we are in a full-blown economic war for critical materials. We all know what's in the what's in the media about the different sources and how uh, the critical materials are being dominated out of China. But I joined Oxico because Colombia, Brazil, and the DRC. Right now, Oxico can deliver monazite. You want monazite? Tell me how much and where you want it, and I'll tell you what your price is. I can do that today. Within two years, maybe less, uh, there's a lot of moving parts in both Brazil and Colombia. Within two years, 18 months, I'm going to be able to also deliver monazite from Brazil, from uh, processing tin tailings in the Masangana area. And then secondly, I'm also going to be able to deliver monazite from Colombia, from the monastic project in uh, in Eastern Colombia on the Venezuelan border. So there's a huge opportunity. And I, I take a bit of a bigger picture view of this. It's time now. You know, the governments around the world are, are getting going, but there is some inertia, right? I'm doing it now because I'm not waiting for the governments of the world to say, oh, we have a problem. We know we have a problem, and I'm going to be part of the solution. And of course, I'm going to flip hats here as one of the founders of the <laughs> Critical Minerals Institute, whose focus is the de decarbonization economy. Everyone's calling me going, monazite, monazite, monazite. And what's shocking to me is that most people don't know that you're already producing. Tell us about your monazite. Yeah, well, we are sales agent for our sister company, Central American Nickel, which is currently producing monazite from the Democratic Republic of Congo. What is most interesting, you know, people hear Africa, they go, Africa. Um, this is all, it's all traceable, sourced, and it's not, it's not anything that would be, you know, child labor, blood diamonds, any of that. This is, we can pro provide to any purchaser a clear track of where it came from. It's, uh, it's a monazite deposit, and it's really interesting because it's non-radioactive, which is very unusual for monazite elsewhere in the world. It's not only not radioactive, but if I understand, it's very high in its rare earths content. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, we're getting a very good price for it. And we just announced last week we've sold another 432 tons of monazite. That takes us up to just over 700 tons for the year. It's our objective uh, as we as the monazite uh development goes forward in DRC that we're going to be, hopefully will be a thousand tons a month. Oxico is a sales agent and we take 15% as a sales commission. That's uh, how our transaction is working. And of course, if I heard you right, you were mentioning tin, critical mineral, you know, uh, mm -hmm. right at the top of the food chain. You're mentioning rare earths. Uh, I think you were mentioning some other ones as well. Can you just give us a general update of where you are today? Because this company is moving so quickly. Well, we've got a, I've got a huge job and we as a company have a huge job ahead of us. And that is to bring both Brazil and Colombia on production. Um, in addition to the tin, we have uh, tantalum niobium, some uh, uh, titanium oxide, and uh, obviously the rare earths. And th these are in both countries, Colombia and Brazil. Well, I'll tell you, I have a lot of time for you, uh, Frederick, because you have been an advisor of mine in the past at understanding the critical mineral sector. Um, what should we anticipate as shareholders in the next uh, quarter? Well, our priorities right now are twofold, and that is to get a 43101 report done in Brazil. And we're, we're being very uh, proactive in that regard. And secondly, uh, we're also doing the same thing in Colombia. We're updating the previous 43101. Uh, as I said, I've been on both properties, and I've seen the tin tailings in Brazil, and it's 
remarkable the the extent of the opportunity there and then i was in eastern uh, i was in eastern colombia on the orinoco river which uh, for you geography buffs is the border with venezuela um, but also a uh, absolutely fascinating uh, opportunity there to develop a great source of critical materials at, but you know keep in mind again one of the three sources of our rare earth elements monazite so frederick Congratulations on your new position at Oxico. If you ask me, this is a win-win for all the shareholders. And I personally loved your line that you're going to be, you want to be part of the solution with Oxico. Congratulations. And uh, for people seeking more information on Oxico, please go to their website. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Great to be back.